folks like to call Indiana the Silicon Valley of the Midwest, with technology and software companies like Salesforce growing here. Andrea Moorhead joins us now with an effort to make sure that there are more women in this traditionally male-dominated industry. Andrea? Well, you know, the word code can really sound intimidating when you first hear it. But tonight, there's a local group working to erase that fear and give us ladies the chance to control the language. And the first lesson, you can. It runs on the other Microsoft environment. So it's the after work activity this night takes these women back to school. They're part of a growing network of students who are learning how to code. Yes, code. We all said that when we were learning Microsoft products. You know, you know and, and um, I even taught myself how to do a little bit of um, web page development. And I want to be able to, like I have mentioned, really be that indispensable pr project manager. The national nonprofit group Girl Develop It has been offering classes for just us girls for over two years in the Indianapolis area. So all of our classes are very supportive. Our teachers and TAs um, aim to provide hands-on uh, you know, help with every exercise they go through and just kind of demystifying the lingo and some of the stuff that goes into coding that might make it seem unapproachable. They're not only improving their tech literacy, they're also gaining confidence. Some of the women say their interest in success from the HTML and CSS classes have inspired them to make a career change and become full-time developers. My long-term goal then would be to start developing some uh, software or some kind of apps for kids on the autism spectrum. Girl Develop It also offers workshops and networking events, giving the women an extra boost of connections. And they're just having the support of other women and other people who are just really jazzed and sharing that information, is that's what intrigued me the most. That synergy is inspiring women of all ages to cast a wide net to consider and achieve a career in web and software development. Over 30 volunteers are sharing their knowledge with its members. I think it really shows that India is a community. People just want to help and they just want to get more women into technology. So they're all willing to help. They're all here working after their full time jobs. If your server or your computer shuts down and restarts, the ladies say learning how to code is cool. So we are the, the, the hotbed of tech for the Midwest mm -hmm. and I really welcome being part of it. Now, there are several locations where the Girl Development Group will meet. I have more information for you on our website at WTHR.com. So how much uh, coding experience do you need to get involved? This is why I like this show. <laughs> None. You don't have any experience. No experience is necessary. All you need to do is have a desire to learn. And there's also a group called Curls Who Code. That's an after school and summer program for young school age girls. And I have all of those links for you on our website. Just go to WTHR.com. Okay. No experience necessary. I can go and do it. You okay. can do it. I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> I don't know if that's my that. skill set. <laughs> Not diminishing, huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>